Hey, how's it going, guys? I'm Saman Yugal. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Cyanogen Mod 12.1 on Moto G first generation and second generation. This method works on Moto G first generation XT1033, 32313434, and 32GP variants, and Moto G second generation XT1068, 646369 variants. Uh, running on almost any ROM, whether stock or custom. Now before proceeding any further, please ensure that you have unlocked the bootloader of your Moto G, whether you have the first generation or the second generation. Secondly, you need to have the latest Motorola drivers installed on your PC. To do this, you can head over to the link in description and download the Motorola device manager. And third and the most important thing is that you need to have a custom recovery installed on your Moto G. Uh, if you don't have a custom recovery, then you can click right here and watch my other video on how to install a custom recovery on Moto G. Don't forget to take a backup of your Moto G before proceeding any further as there is a chance that you may lose your data. Please check out the frequently asked questions in the description before asking me any questions in the comments below. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so first we need to download the latest nightly of Sanogen Mod 12.1. So open your browser and head over to the links in the description. This one is for Moto G Falcon which is the first generation Moto G. So just download the latest nightly. So as you can see just see the date and download the latest one at, as it would be the most stable one. Now this one is for Moto G second generation which is Titan. So both the links are in the description. Just download the latest nightly. Third thing you need to download is the G apps, Google apps for Android 5.1. The link for which is also in the description. So just download it. This is compulsory for both the uh, both generation Moto G. Okay, so these are the two files that you get. The first one is the Sanogen Mod 12.1 Nightly zip file, and second one the G apps 5.1 zip file. Now just connect your Moto G to your PC. And now we need to copy these two files and transfer it to our Moto G. So just uh, paste it in your internal storage. Okay, now you can disconnect your Moto G. Now power off your device. So just let it power off. Okay, now we need to get into the bootloader mode. So just press the volume down key and the power key simultaneously to get into the bootloader mode. So just press it for 4 to 5 seconds. And here we are in the bootloader mode. Now press the volume down key and then the volume up key to select recovery and get into the recovery mode so I have TWRP recovery installed as my custom recovery so let's head over to TWRP recovery Okay, now click on wipe, then click on advanced wipe and check Dalvik cache, data, system and data. Don't check internal storage otherwise it will clear off your uh, storage and you won't be able to install any room. Now just swipe to wipe these things. So wait a few seconds and okay it's done. Now go back again go back using the arrow key and then click on install now select the CM12.1 nightly zip file from your internal storage and then use the uh, slide it to install it so it will take a few seconds and install it Okay, so it's done now. Now just click on wipe cache and then again slide to wipe it. Okay, now go back again and again use the arrow key to go back and now select the GF 5.1 zip file and again slide to just install it. Okay. 
okay so it's installed now now again you need to click on wipe cache and just wipe it or go back and click on reboot system to reboot it now it will take around 10 to 15 minutes so don't panic and don't think that it is stuck in boot loop or something okay so it's successfully installed now now let's just set it up Now after connecting to Wi-Fi you may get this error that the setup wizard has stopped. So what you need to do now is just power off your device and remove your SIM card. Or if you have a dual SIM phone then remove both the SIM cards and then reboot it again. Okay so after rebooting it you just continue the setup as you would do normally and complete the setup. And yeah so you can see that we have successfully installed it. Now we are in the home screen. Now you can insert your SIM cards. You don't need to reboot it, just open your back cover and insert it right now. Now let me show you that it is actually the channel in 12.1. So let's again go back to settings. Uh, just a second. Settings about phone. So you can see that it is standard in mod 12.1 and the android version is 5.1 so that's it okay so after installing standard in mod 12.1 if you wish to root your moto g first generation or second generation you can click right here for my video tutorial to root moto g it's the easiest one and if you wish to install the official android 5.1 gpu on your moto g first generation just click right here for the video tutorial. watching my video thanks for watching my video do like this video and comment below don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more cool stuff, how to videos, tutorials, reviews and much more cool stuff. Till then stay connected. Bye.